Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. Um, welcome to another edition of my Make It Monday, where each week I'm here to share with you some simple projects um, in hopes to inspire you to do something creative this week as well. So how was your weekend? I hope you had a relaxing weekend. I certainly did. I did nothing, <laughs> basically. So anyway, um, I just realized I didn't... Um, put out post about this upcoming video so I wasn't sure how many of you would be watching me live today but for those of you who are watching me for the very first time welcome I'm Sandra the Stamping Bee and I'm so glad you're able to come join me today and for all of you who have been following me thank you so much I always appreciate your support Anyway, so for today's Make It Monday, I am going to be sharing with you another wonderful card sketch. For those of you who subscribe to my email, um, I have been adding a card sketch in each of my newsletter. So for those of you who are receiving my, news, my emails, I hope you're finding the new format um, useful, enjoyable, readable. Um, so please let me know what you think. Um, it's an evolving process, so I'm always looking for ideas how to improve on it. So what I started doing was um, including a card sketch in each of my email slash newsletter. So if you are interested in that, be sure to um, sign up for my newsletter slash email. I mean, it's like an email, but it's actually in a format of a newsletter, so um, I guess I'll call it newsletter. Oh, hi, Becky. I hope you're feeling better. I know this latest upper respiratory virus is really a bugger. So um, I hope you're resting and no stress, right? Anyway, so yeah. So the scar card sketch that I'm going to be sharing with you is what I sent out last week. And so as always, I'm always interested in seeing how you transform this card sketch and whether it is helpful to you. So be sure to tag me if you post your card on your social media, love to see it. And uh, always a little incentive, if you post it and tag me, um, I might send you a little present. So anyway, so it's all in all good fun. Okay, so before we dive into today's projects, I wanted to mention about bonus days. Bonus days is, um, happening right now that is for every fifty dollars in purchase you get a five dollar coupon to spend next month isn't that wonderful so that's going on until the end of july and another thing that i wanted to mention is this sunday i'm gonna have a kit together so um if you have your paper pumpkin kit or if you want to work on a kit um let me know um i would love to have you um, kit together with me on Sunday and we'll work on some kits. I have all the new kits available and one in particular I wanted to showcase is this new um, travel journal kit. For those of you who are planners, um, this is actually in the format of a traveler's notebook type of a um, format and uh, it's conducive to adding more pages and uh, I'm looking forward to creating mine with my recent trip to Marshall Islands. And if you've been recently traveling or you are intending to travel soon, um, document your memories. And this is the perfect one to get involved in. It's just a really no brainer because they've got include everything for you to produce a very top notch um, professional looking um, kit, uh, I mean, journal. Anyway, so this is available for you if you do decide to join me this Sunday. Um, for the kit together. So again, just message me, love to have you join me, and it's always a lot of fun. Um, anyway, so okay, so without further ado, let me switch the camera around and let's get crafty. Let me see, where is this thing? Oh, there it is. Oops, oh, there. Okay, oh my goodness. So, Again, a reminder about the uh, bonus days that is happening right now until the end of July. And so for every $50 you spend, you get $5 coupon. So it's a great time to stock up again and be thinking about um, 
the supplies that you need for the upcoming Christmas holiday crafting season. All right. Hi, Taz. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so this is the sketch that I'm working on today. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, this sketch um, is in my email. So if you subscribe to my email, be sure to click and open it and you'll see it there. There'll be another sample in there for, um, for your reference. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this on the side here so you can have this as a reference. So the first thing, of course, um, let's do it exactly as the sketch is. So I'm starting out with a card, okay? This is a regular note card. And what I'm gonna do is, as this indicated, I'm going to have a mat around my paper here, okay? This is one of the new papers that is an online exclusive. It's called the Iconic Celebrations. And it basically covers the gam, I mean, a range of, oopsie, a range of occasions that you might need in the upcoming season. So it's a great pack of paper. I highly recommend it. And you know me, I love my DSPs. So of course I had to get a bunch of these. So let's get started. So let's um, mount this. I love using sketches because as you know, I just recently came back from a trip. So every time I come back, it just takes a while for me to get my mojo back. So having a sketch to, to um, initiate the creative process is very, very good. Okay, so that's that. So this is this part here. And let me go ahead and put this on my card. And of course, another time saver and a, a great help is the fact that um, the color scheme, um, you don't really have to think much about the color scheme because all the colors that are coordinating in this paper is here. So you know all the colors will coordinate well, okay? So that's that first part. So far, it's so good, right? So then I'm going to bring in another piece and that's the beauty of using Stamping Up's Designer Series paper. They all coordinate, so you don't have to worry about whether the colors are gonna crack, um, clash. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining me. All right. So, let's see, let me eyeball it. Uh, as you know, I have a camera between my in between my eyeballs and the cards, so it's kind of challenging sometimes, okay? So for those of you who want the exact measurements, I mean, the beauty of the sketch is it is whatever you want it to be, but for those of you who are interested, um, these are the measurements that I'm going off of. So this four and a half by two and three quarters will be this piece here. And then I've got a four and a quarter by one and a half strip and a three and a quarter and one three quarters, okay? So these are the measurements that I'm using today for my cards. Okay, so let me put this on the side so you have a reference, okay? But again, you know, the beauty of a sketch is it's just for general um, idea, okay? It's not, you don't have to be exact. And I'll show you how I uh, create the alternatives. Yes, it was great seeing you last week too. Okay, um, so there, so that's that. And then for this piece, um, when when you see a sketch with the blank white, it just means it's the greeting, okay? So um, usually, and so that's what I did, okay? In case you're wondering where the stamp set comes from, this is a, I believe, a March of last year paper pumpkin. And uh, for those of you who have been following me know that I love my paper pumpkin stamp sets. I, I actually use it a lot. Okay, so then I'm going to put this on. So far so good, right? I mean, how hard, it's not easy. It's not hard at all. Whew. Sometimes I think I forget how to talk, okay? So it's exactly like the sketch, correct? And that's how easy it is, okay? And then, oops, I forgot the greeting. Happy, 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 oops. Where did it go? 
my little piece just fell out. Uh oh, where did it go? I know I had a little birthday here, and I don't know where it fell out. Hmm. It's so strange. You know, I'll f oh, there it is. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. So there it is. See, I'm not lying. I did stamp one. Okay. So there. You've got a very simple card that is more than good to send out to a friend. And you know me, we always want a little bling. So what I have is, I think this is retired, um, but I'm going to go ahead and reinforce the uh, star element. Okay. And I'm going to... Oops. simple okay and that's what I love about working with a sketch is just turn off your internal um, OCD or you know mind and just go with the flow and follow the sketch okay so similarly so let's you know switch it up a bit here's another card that I made okay this one I'm following it a little bit differently so again, I still have this piece here, which is this piece here, right? Okay, so I still have this piece. And for this piece that goes across the card, I am using this leaf as that piece, okay? So that's how you interpret it, you know, a piece that goes across, okay? So that's how I interpreted this. So I'm gonna put this long leaf here and it reaches from one end to the other edge of the card. And then your greeting, and this is what I did here, okay? Thanks. And this is just an added element to emphasize the, uh, the block here. So this is the sentiment block here, okay? And of course, some bling, and I call it good, okay? Now that wasn't too hard, was it? See, I love simple cards, and um, again, a sketch helps out a lot, okay? So let me put this aside. So another way to look at a sketch is, it's not taking it literally like this, but turn it around, okay? So for the next card, I turned it around and improvised a little bit, and this is the card that I made. Um, it's kind of a sad, you know, comment on my present life where, you know, I'm getting to that point where I'm needing some sympathy cards. So I made this, and uh, so again, this, for this piece, I kind of enlarged it, okay? Keeping with the same idea. And then this long piece here, I used the ribbon for that element here. And then this is a sentiment block, okay? So, you know, by turning it around, you get a different look, right? Okay, so that's that. So another way, I play with the um, sketch is, you know, again, turn it around. So you could do it this way or turn it around this way. I don't know if you can see it, but there we go. Like that, right? So you see this here? So do the mirror image of it. Have fun with the sketch. So with that in mind, okay, this is the card that I did. Okay. Again, it all starts with the same um, pieces. This piece here is there, and this piece is here, okay? But instead of putting the long, the strip on top like this, I put it behind it. And so this is the sentiment strip. And the background flower is to emphasize this sentiment block, okay? You see it's white, okay? And of course, I added some bling. I can't resist it, I just cannot. And then some twine. That's always a fun and inexpensive way to elevate a simple card, right? 
So as I'm working on this card, then I'm sure you will have the same experience. Your mojo will come back and you'll be on a, on a roll. And for me, what I did next is what happens, okay? So then basically with this card, it's kind of like a, a wide version of this, okay? So I've got this background, which is the embossed birch, um, I think it's a birch tree uh, embossing folder. This is one of the upcoming new sets that will be um, in the new uh, Christmas catalog. And just for fun, this piece here, I chopped it up into four pieces. So it kind of gives it a whimsical look. And then here we've got that strip here. And there you go. So it's not exactly the same, but after making all these cards, you kind of get into the rhythm and you play with the um, placement of these elements and find something that you like. And that's how you get your mojo back. So yeah. So this again is a new paper that will be featured in the upcoming Christmas catalog. This I did not stamp. Can you guess where this is from? It's from one of the ephemera packs. See, I love my ephemera pack. So literally this card, I did not even have to stamp anything. This is a non-stamping card. Okay. And these are the cards I want to show you this week. So again, these are variation on a theme, on a card template, which is featured in my um, July email slash newsletter. Um, I'm going to start doing this every month because I love sketches. So I thought, why not share it with you? Um, let me know if this is something that you enjoy um, having. Um, and um, let me know how you play with it. Thanks, Lisa. So there we go. So all of these cards are so simple to make, honestly. So there's no reason why you can't make one right now, right? Because I'm sure you have three pieces of paper like this that you can make a card right away, okay? So that's the purpose of the sketch that I want to share with you each month is, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated to make a card. So for those of you who are lurking around and not sure if you want to, you know, do a card, I invite you to make one. And a better way is come to my kit together. The kits are all inclusive and they're just a fun um, time um, for everybody. Okay. So let me put these aside so you can see the cards that I made. Um, yeah. There we go. Okay. So yeah, so be sure to tag me. Let me know um, what you've come up with um, using this sketch. I'd love to see your take on it. Um, and also by sharing what you've made with it, you also give other people ideas how to play with this particular sketch. All right. So anyway, again, thank you so much for joining me today. It's always a pleasure and so much fun. Um, to create a video for you. Um, it's a great way to connect with you, and I hope you are enjoying um, this video. And if you do, be sure to share this video with a friend of yours um, who may not know about this channel. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. Like it and subscribe it. That way, um, you know, when I post the next video, you'll be notified of it. All right. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I get to see you in one of my upcoming kit-togethers. All right? Thank you. Bye-bye.